Hey tubers, got the piece of final cut. Found the center of it. It's 55 and three quarters of an inch wide. Found the center of the package tray and we'll start in the center. Start stapling out. You could contact cement it on, but I found in the past when I've done that that uh, if I had a mistake or something to where I wanted to pull it back off, contact cement's a one-time deal. You're there. And I think I got a leak in my air system. Hold it. Back in there somewhere. I hear it hissing. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to call Rapid Air and get some connectors in here. Okay, do that Monday. Another thing to work on. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to start at the center. I'll staple it. I got my pneumatic staple done out. And uh, we'll uh, work our way out. <clears throat> Staples, we'll staple it. They're quarter inch deep staples, so we'll staple it. I mean, there are going to be a ton of staples in here. I suspect I'll do a good damage in this pack of staples. So, when I get more, I'll turn it back on later. So we'll start in the middle, work our way down, and as this radius gets there, as it gets, you'll end up with with a bump in the in the in the vinyl. All you need to do is slit it, and it overlaps. It'll overlap. You put cut a a V in it, but backwards, a V like from here to here and then this piece will overlap that so you got to remember the only side that is going to be seen will be the front side this will be up against the back window and these will be towards the the uh, <clears throat> side of the car so but yeah you I mean staples are going to be right on top of each other as you get going and you pull it tight each time and it gets a little exhausting after a while. So, when I get more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey, tubers. Well, it's all done. Now we're cutting out the holes. We'll do the pie shape and come up and staple it. Remember, we're not going to see this with the speaker grills on. So, but this is the best way to do it. And then sort of keep the, uh, the vinyl from bunching up like this but uh, we did bunch it here on the side and here on this side back in the corner but that's going to be on the side and that'll be back this is the back window and this is the front you'll see so so we'll uh, continue on this and when I get it done I'll uh, show you what it looks like later hey tubers finished up the panel it came out okay. Not exactly the way I want, but I can live with it. Don't forget the grills go over the holes here, so you won't see it. So, but all in all, it's nice and smooth. Uh, next up, what we got to do is we got to put the stanchions in. These will go in here, like that, and be glued in reason why I put those in is when you put the speaker grill on, remember the speaker grill will come over like this and you draw it down, it tends to pull the vinyl down and onto the foam and I don't want that to happen all that much so to do that we put these in and it just it's right at the top of the foam so if it pulls it down it's just going to pull it down maybe a 32nd or a 16th of an inch so we're going to glue those in and uh, then we'll cut the holes so we find the the holes for the, for the grills uh, also I'm taking the back seat out getting ready to take that over to the upholstery shop uh, Pat found one in his jurisdiction that's going to work so that probably won't happen until after the holidays. I've got to put some money together. It's going to cost me a couple hundred bucks. 
black and white hound's tooth is what's going on as far as the seats are concerned. We'll do the rear first and also we'll pull the rear out to help uh, when we start putting the stereo equipment in and the, and the wiring and everything for that. So when I get more I'll turn it back on later. Alright tubers this will wrap that this up. Uh, the rear seats out. There's the bottoms and there's the back. Uh, package tray is bolted in with the, uh, the fasteners I put in and uh, remember the holes will look a lot better once the speakers are in and the grills are down so fits really good up against the back so I'm happy with it so took the car out when I uh, had to pull it out to get the ladder to put those up there so I took it around the block and you know had to get the dust off it when all the dust didn't come off it but it's still it's full of fingerprints too so needs what it needs is a good bath but that ain't going to happen until after we get the stereo installed still kicking around whether to take these panels to the upholstery guy and have him upholster them hold on Sorry about that. And uh, have him upholster. But first, we got to talk about the rear seat. Uh, up next, I got to buy door panels. Oh, the clock's going off. It's 3 o'clock. Uh, I got to buy front door panels, somewhere to put the speakers for the front speakers. We were going to put them in the kick panels, but then, being that this is manual transmission car and everything else, we can't find kick panels that will work and I'm not gonna build my own not yet anyway and so for right now we'll I'll get a cheap pair of door panels and put them in there for temporary to get them wired up and get the stereo in this thing uh, then after that dynamat uh, and we get the rear seat into the upholstery shop and get that again like I said it's black and white houndstooth I gotta buy the kit yet for the front seats and uh, get that. Uh, there, it's a kit that you can sit there and put the side bolsters on and the, and the seat bottom bolsters on and everything else to hold you into that makes it more like a racing seat or a new style seat and uh, the kit is pretty pricey. So and then we still got touch up paint to do so we got that to do. I mean I still got the upper valence or the uh, cowl panel, upper cowl panel yet to finished touching up because my dumb ass decided to rub it out too hard and rub down to the white so but this is it this is it for this little project this project gets kicked back into high gear now and uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut a notch here and a notch here I'm gonna put my gear puller on on here or my pulley puller and uh, just pull this sucker off and see what happens but uh, if need be we'll just cut it all the way off but I don't know what else could be holding it in I really don't we get it to spin too let's see if I can do it by hand no and here's the new one that goes on and the only thing that goes back there is a seal there's a seal that goes in the groove there and then a seal back there so we don't know but in the meantime, we'll see what happens. So that's all I got for now. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, subscribing, and of course leaving comments. And uh, I don't know when we'll pick this up. I got some honey, honey, uh, do stuff to do. She started generating a list before the kids get here. In what? Let's see, today's the third. Uh, they'll be here in 18 days. Okay. So she's got a whole bunch of stuff for me to start doing too. And plus, we've got to have this running in 18 days, too. So, everybody have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you later.